the Pasha of Balak contains, of course, the episode revolving Bilam Anovi, who attempted to curse Klal Yisrael. The Mishnah writes in Pirkei Avis, in the fifth paragraph, the Mishnah says, Kol Mishesh Biyado Shal Shedvarim Halalu, whoever has these three qualities, Mitalmid of Shavim Avino, is considered to be among the disciples of Avram Avino. And three other qualities are quintessentially the Tchunas that reflect the Talmidim of Bilam Arasha. What are the three qualities of Avram Avino? Ayin Teva, Beruach Nemucha, Benefesh Shvala. On the other hand, Bilam is reflected by Ayin Ra, Ruach Gevoa, and Nefesh Rechava. Avram Avino is a generosity of spirit and a humility. Bilam, of course, is gaiva, a kind of swagger, a kind of arrogance. And the Mishnah also tells us the distinction between the two types of Talmidim. Talmidim Shah Avram Avino, Eichlin Bailam Azeh, Ben Eichlin Lelam Abba. They're eating in this world and will also have a Yerusha in the future. Shenem Alahan Chiloa Vayesh, Bot Soseyam Amalei. The Talmidim Abim Bilam Arasha, Yordin Le Gehenim, Yorshin Gehenim, Biyordin Le Ver Shachas. Shenem Aveatel Okim Toridain Le Ver Shachas. The overriding theme of Pasha's Balak focuses on the efforts of Bilam Arasha to simulate the Avos, specifically Avram Avinu. There are innumerable analogies to be drawn between the syntax, tone, and tenor of the Bilam episode with the saga of the Akedo. Let's just mention a few. Rebani Shalom tells Avram Avinu, Those that bless you will be blessed, and those that curse you will be cursed. Bilam is told by Balak, Ki adati, I know, mevarach. Those whom you bless will be blessed. Ve'sasheh tor, you are. Those that you curse will be cursed. Avram Avinu, energetically, saddles his donkey to carry out the Dvar Hashem. Tayashkim Avram Baboka ve'achamosh chamoro. Bilam, the Torah also describes, Vayokam Bilam Baboka ve'achamosh chesasteinai. Also, he goes out to carry out his mission, which of course is the mission to curse Kal Yisrael, again, contrast with Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu is accompanied by two lads. Vayelchu Shneim Yachdav. The Torah describes again Avram Avinu when he went out on the Mishkin, on the mission. So in that mission he was accompanied. Chazal tell us whom accompanied him. But you have also, in a similar vein, with reference to Bilam, there also it says, Shnei Nor Avimo. Avram Avinu speaks in terminology of Vani Vanar Nelchad Ko V'nishtachav Em Roshu Ba'aleichem Bilam speaks Vayomi Al Balak Yisyatid Ko Al Alosecha Vanochi Yikara Ko Avram Avinu's scenario the Akedah according to Chazal took place in Rosh Hashanah Bilam constructs seven Mizbechos and offers a Korban a par and an ayol which are the Korbanos of Rosh Hashanah and there are many other such analogies that can be drawn between Avram Avinu and Bilam. To such an extent does Bilam identify himself with Avram Avinu that he even says, Tomos Nafshi Mois Yisharim. He wants to die the death of the Yisharim. And Chazal say, Huma the Yisharim? Avram Yitzhak the Yaakov. The others are called Yisharim. And so in effect, when the Mishnah asked the question, Ma bein Tamid of Shavim Avinu and Tamid of Shabilam Arasha? The question is very much in place. Because they seem to have similar kind of thinking, lifestyle, and yet Abram Avinu is the recipient of Bracha, and Bilam the recipient of Klala. As a matter of fact, the analogies go even further. Abram Avinu was the first Jew to fulfill the mitzvah of Leah the Regal. The Gemara Dashim in Sukkah, Mayafu ne'alayich, Mayafu pa'mayich banolim bas nodiv, Abram Avinu min Aliyah the Regal. And Bilam, the Torah speaks of ki kisani zeshalosh regalim. But obviously, the distinction between Avram Avinu and Bilak is a massive one. There's a massive par between Avram Avinu and between, of course, Bilam Marasha. Hashem gave the Umas Olam the opportunity because they argue we don't have a Navi who can bring us to Tshuva. 
Give us a Navi. Hashem went and carried that out. But obviously, Avram Avinu and Bila Marasha, Lahavdom and Avafi Avdalos, lead two totally different types of lifestyles. And now they lead two different types of lifestyles. They both were given talents. Avram Avinu uses his talents, Hashem Shamayim, to carry out not only the Tzibri Hashem, but also the Ratzin Hashem. Bila Marasha, maybe in one respect, perhaps is trying to convince himself that he'll carry out the TV Hashem, but certainly the Ratzin Hashem, he's certainly not Mekayim. Avraham Avinu, his interest, of course, is not at all motivated by any kind of selfish motivation or concern. Bill and Barasha is solely motivated by selfish concerns. Immediately, Balak Moloi Beisai Kesem Bezov. And Chazal, by the way, say his interest was avarice, was greed, was money, gold and silver. Avram was trying to be mefarsed in the idea of Hashem Echad, the Shema Echad. Bilam was trying to curse Klal Yisrael. And as Chazal came in, the Gemara Makis and Rashi quotes it, B'derech, Shadam, Ritzel, Leilech, Malichin, also. Every person charts their own course, charts their own destiny. Every person is given talents in life. And one could use the talents either in a positive way, or Chas Shalom in a negative kind of way. Unfortunately, Bilam did not use the talent that Hashem gave him in a positive kind of way, and therefore as a result, Bilam Chazal speak of someone who was possessed of terrible gaiva, terrible arrogance, had a greed and avarice to him. He was the one who carried out and utilized his talents of Shem Shamayim. And here we have a very significant lesson, and the Torah actually ends and underscores the contrast at the end of both parashiyas. Vayokam Bilam, Vayelech Vayashov in Como, the Gambola Chalach Lidarko. Bilam was totally unaffected, and basically all that had transpired had no impact on him whatsoever, and even a regression occurred. Vayachalam, Lizneis of Benois Mav. Avram Avinu, after the Akeda, Vayashar Avram on Arav, Vayakumu, Vayelchu Yachtav Be'er Shava, Vayesha Avram Be'er Shava. Clearly, Avram Avinu, after the Akeda, was transformed, was metamorphosed into a totally different personality. We, we have two personalities, given koichas, and depending on how a person uses their koichas, Hashem gives us koichas to use them, Halabai, we should use them. B'derach shodam rotsa leil malichin also, we have b'chir ha-chavshis, ki yisharam darki Hashem, Avram Avinu was a fulfillment of tzadikim yelchubam, Bila was a fulfillment of upashim yikashubam, and therefore, unfortunately, the Talmidim of Bilam Arasha and Bilam Arasha are zaycha to what they're zaycha to. Mashiach and Avram Avinu is zaycha to the world of Chesed and Dvegus Pashem. Two totally different personalities. Let's utilize the kachas that we have and use them. L'shem Shamayim.